Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to organize report information in Microsoft Access 2016. In our previous video, we have already learned that how to create a report and how to format those reports. But it's not necessary that every time the system generated report is as crisp and as, as accurate. Sometimes we need to organize this particular information. So what we will do, I will make use of the report wizard. What does report wizard do? It helps me to provide with that option which will help me to view and organize this data according to my own need. Basically what this report wizard does is that it groups the similar data within a field and it helps me to organize it in a multiple level that can be like an outline or like a bulleted list. Let's go and understand how to organize this particular information in our practical approach. So in order to do that I'll be needing a report so I will go to the navigation pane as we have already learned how to create a report so I have this report which says uh, December's order so I will simply double click on it and open my report now as you can see uh, we learned how to create a report like this and how to organize now we will learn how to organize it in a better way in this particular video so in order to make the changes I have to go to the view tab and under the view tab I will select the layout view now if I want to change makes particular changes I will always move to the layout view now the moment I click on layout view I have these dotted lines and I I can organize the report the way I want to so now as you can see out here it is not perfectly organized first let me go ahead and adjust the column width of this particular table so I'll adjust it so that everybody stays in inside the table so I'll adjust the width of each and every column so that it remains inside these dotted lines. All right. So this is the first thing I will be doing. The next thing we can do is let's say that I want to organize a report in such a way that I want the pickup dates for the month of December. So I want them to be appearing first out here. So I'll simply go to this pickup date column. I'll right click on it. And in the moment I right click on it, as of now, it is from oldest to newest. You can also change it to newest to oldest, right? So this is how you can do it. Also, there's one other thing, as I told you that I want to organize this uh, depending on the month. Like I want to see the pickup dates for the month of December. So what will I do? I'll go to this date filters and on this date filters, you can see so many options out here. I can get it for today, tomorrow, today, yesterday, next week, last week, this week, next month. There's so many options out here, but I want to applied for a particular month so if I if I go right to the bottom of this particular tab it says all date and period I will select December the moment I click on December now you can see all the orders which were related in the month of December can be seen out here right so these are the order only for the month of December so this is how you can organize a reporting report depending on your own old criteria also you can organize the name depending on ascending or descending order you simply right click and organize it uh, depending where you want from A to Z or Z to A manner also there's some other things as you can see uh, out here there are uh, reports which says uh, the order which has been paid but I want to check for those order which are not being paid so I want to organize it in such a manner that all the unpaid transaction should be seen first and rest the paid transaction so I'll simply right click on this particular menu I go total paid uh, I'm sorry I will not go here I'll say I'll simply right click and I'll sort it as sort to clear right uh, Z to A so as you can see this cannot be applied as there is just one item in month of December which is not paid so let me go ahead and clear this filter first so I'll go to the date filter right and I'll uncheck this so I have all the records so now I'll go here and right click and say sort to clear so you can see the records which are false can be seen out here but the rest of the records are this only one record which has been not paid the rest of them are paid which is mentioned by the true column all right so you can do various other things to organize your report in the way you want it and selecting the criteria which you wish to feel like so this was all about this video